Ever wondered why your dog doesn't listen to you, no matter how many times you call their name? It's a common dilemma faced by many dog owners. You may find yourself in a constant tug of war with your furry friend, struggling to establish a clear line of communication. Now, it's crucial to understand that dogs aren't intentionally being disobedient. They're not plotting to drive you up the wall. Instead, they're often confused, unsure of what's expected of them. Training a dog isn't just about teaching them to sit, stay, or fetch. It's about building a strong, healthy relationship with your loyal companion. It's about understanding their behavior, their needs, and their instincts. Remember, dogs communicate differently than humans. They rely on a variety of signals and behaviors, many of which can seem foreign to us. Misunderstanding these signals can lead to frustration on both ends. So the question is, how do we get our dogs to listen to us and follow our commands? Before diving into the training process, it's crucial to understand your dog's behavior. You see, dogs are not just simple creatures of habit. They are complex beings with a deep-rooted instinctual framework that guides their actions. Understanding this framework and the motivations behind their behavior can make the difference between a successful training experience and a frustrating one. Dogs are pack animals by nature. This means they're wired to function within a social hierarchy, and they instinctively look for a leader to follow. If you've ever noticed your dog looking at you before making a decision, this is why. They're checking in with you, their pack leader, for guidance. It's important to fill this leadership role effectively, not with fear or aggression, but with calm assertiveness and consistent rules. Your dog needs to trust that you are a reliable leader who can provide for them and keep them safe. This trust is the foundation of your relationship and the key to effective training. Now, one thing to remember is that dogs don't think like humans. They don't understand our language and they don't reason in the same way we do. But they are incredibly perceptive. They pick up on our body language, our tone of voice, and even our mood, and they respond accordingly. For example, if you're feeling anxious, your dog is likely to mirror that anxiety. If you're calm and confident, your dog is more likely to feel secure and behave calmly. This is why it's so important to be aware of your own behavior and emotions when interacting with your dog. Understanding your dog's behavior also involves recognizing their unique personality traits and preferences. Just like humans, each dog has its own likes and dislikes, its own fears and joys. The more you understand these individual quirks, the better you'll be able to communicate with your dog and guide them effectively. In the end, it all comes down to communication. Training your dog isn't about forcing them to obey commands. It's about building a language of mutual understanding and respect. And that starts with understanding your dog's behavior. Understanding your dog's behavior is the first step towards effective training. Now let's delve into the basics of dog training. Dog training is not as daunting as it seems. It's all about communication and understanding translated into simple, digestible steps. To establish a healthy and balanced relationship with your loyal companion, you need to teach them the basic commands. These commands are sit, stay, and come. Let's start with sit. It's the simplest command and a great starting point for any training session. To teach your dog to sit, hold a treat close to your dog's nose and move your hand up, allowing their head to follow the treat and causing their bottom to lower. Once they're in the sitting position, say sit, give them the treat and share affection. Next is stay. This command is crucial for their safety. First, ask your dog to sit, then open the palm of your hand in front of you and say stay. Take a few steps back. If they stay, give them a treat. Gradually increase the number of steps you take before giving the treat. The come command could be a lifesaver, bringing your dog back to you if they happen to dart off. To teach this, put a leash and collar on your dog. Go down to their level and say, come, while gently pulling on the leash. When they get to you, reward them with affection and a treat. Remember, rewarding your dog for good behavior is key. Treats are a great motivator for dogs, but they are not the only one. Praises, petting, and playtime can be just as effective. Every dog is different, so try different rewards to see what works best for your pet. And lastly, be patient. Training a dog requires time, so don't be discouraged if your dog but doesn't catch on right away. Keep the training sessions short, positive, and fun. Over time, your dog will start to understand these commands and respond to them. Remember, patience is key when it comes to dog training. 
Once your dog has mastered the basics, it's time to move on to more advanced techniques. These techniques are designed to further enhance your dog's obedience and overall behavior. They may seem challenging at first, but with patience, consistency, and repetition, your dog will be able to grasp them. The first advanced technique we'll discuss today is heel. This command is used to get your dog to walk right beside you, not ahead or behind. It's particularly useful during walks or when you're in a crowded place. To teach your dog to heel, start by walking with your dog on a leash. Give the command heel and take a step forward. If your dog follows suit and stays by your side, reward them with a treat and praise. Next, we have the leave it command. This is crucial in scenarios where your dog may encounter something harmful or undesirable. To train your dog to leave it, place a treat in your closed hand and let your dog sniff it. Say leave it and wait. As soon as your dog stops trying to get the treat and pulls away, reward them with a different treat from your other hand. Finally, let's talk about fetch. This command not only serves as an excellent form of exercise, but also helps to further solidify your bond with your dog. Start by throwing a toy or a ball and saying fetch. When your dog goes after the object, praise them. Once they pick up the object, call them back with a come command and reward them when they return. Remember, the key to successful dog training is consistency and repetition. The more you practice these commands with your dog, the quicker they'll learn and the better they'll become at following them. And don't forget, positive reinforcement is your best friend in this process. Always reward your dog's success with treats, praise, or a favorite toy. This encourages them to repeat the behavior and makes training a positive, enjoyable experience. With consistent training and positive reinforcement, your dog will be able to master these commands in no time. Despite our best efforts, we can sometimes make mistakes during the training process. It's understandable. Training a dog is no walk in the park, and we're all bound to stumble a little along the way. The key lies in recognizing these missteps and taking the necessary steps to correct them. One common mistake we often make is inconsistency with commands. One minute we're saying down, the next it's lie down. To us it might seem like small potatoes, but to our dogs, it's a confusing mess. Remember, consistency is king in dog training. Stick to one command per action and use it every single time. Another pitfall is the lack of patience. Training takes time and it's not always a linear process. There may be days when it feels like you're not making any progress at all. Don't get disheartened. Keep persevering, and remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a well-trained dog. Then there's the issue of negative reinforcement. Scolding or punishing your dog for not following a command is a big no-no. It can create fear and anxiety, and that's the last thing we want for our loyal companions. Instead, focus on positive reinforcement. Reward your dog's good behavior with treats, praise, or a good old belly rub. They'll soon associate these positive experiences with the behavior you want to encourage. Lastly, it's crucial to remember that training isn't just about commands and tricks. It's about building a relationship with your dog based on mutual trust and respect. Ensure your training sessions are fun and engaging. Turn them into a game. This will make your dog more eager to learn and it'll strengthen the bond between the two of you. In the end, dog training is a journey filled with ups and downs. But by avoiding these common mistakes, you can make that journey a little smoother and a whole lot more enjoyable for both you and your furry friend. Avoiding these common mistakes can greatly improve your dog's learning experience. So we've covered quite a bit about dog training today. We began by addressing the common dilemmas faced by pet owners and emphasized the importance of understanding your dog's behavior. Remember, Every bark, wag, or whimper has meaning. It's our job to decode it. We then delved into the basics of dog training, from simple commands like sit and stay to house training. Each small success builds a foundation for more advanced techniques, which we explored next. Whether it's mastering the art of leash walking or learning impressive tricks, these skills enhance your bond with your loyal companion. However, it's crucial to avoid common pitfalls in training. Rushing the process, inconsistency, or using negative reinforcement can cause setbacks. But don't fret. Mistakes are opportunities to learn and improve. With patience, consistency, and a lot of love, you and your dog can establish a healthy and balanced relationship.
Happy training.